Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, Sola Supreme, and welcome back to Black Sad Under the Skin. Now, where we last left off, we finally get our way from that goddamn gym, and we're now investigating, I think, Bobby Yale's apartment to figure out any clues of where the hell he might be. A woman's fragrance. Almost Already, that is Mary's fucking scarf. It's obvious it's hers. But she, she was probably fucking the bus. Yeah, look, 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 look at this. Look at this. We're already about to do some shit in the very beginning. There's a scarf at her, his place, and Mary has a cold. What the fuck? Uh, wait a minute. I guess not yet. Because apparently there's another piece of the puzzle. Let's look in his fridge. Can we eat I'm his not shit? I'm sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case. But it's good to know. Well, it could... For all you know, it could have had a fucking body in there. Um, uh, What is this? Probably seems like a nice kid, but I barely know him. Hmm. Mary went to the park with Yale. Yeah, it's so wait, is this gonna do another deduction shit? Yeah, so that was all that was needed, so wait, let's see. The scarf at Yale's place. Mary has a cold, and she went to Luna Park with him. Yeah, that of course. She's been here recently, but why? Yeah. What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? She was probably playing the boat. Okay, everything just disappears for a second. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Mary Purnell and Bobby Yale killed Dunn. Could that be the case? La Fontaine today. Alma Maya. Seventeenth century French fable. <laughs> Maya must be one boring old lady. Oh, probably. Who reads fables except if you're a fascist? <laughs> All right. Uh. What? Got another clue apparently. Wait, is it these two? I have no idea why the hell it said I had a deduction when I didn't really gain any more clues. Wait a minute, pizza. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's there. Well, seeing as there's two beer cans and pizza, I'm guessing it's probably can't theirs. say this is the ideal drink for an athlete. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. Oh, no shit, Black Sad. They beat the hell out of you here, like, really, not too long ago. Wait, can I look at this? Oh, another fucking card. And dishes have been uh. washed. <laughs> That's all that listed. <sighs> what a fucking slob. A painting. Uh. Okay. Apparently, he painted, or someone painted him. <laughs> Sicilian capo. So, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? It's the Godfather. Yeah, he likes his mob stories. What about? Seems that? like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. So he's a poet as well. Hmm. Interesting. Is there anything in this? Haha. -ha. Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Unless 
Someone took the clothes? Unless someone emptied it recently. I don't know if that had a point at even me like just announcing it. Complete poems. So he liked this Avernus guy. Avenarius. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever ever Avenarius? <laughs> Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear twenty years ago? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> it goes back to that asshole. Alright, so... It, apparently, that's his father, the boxer poet. Can I look at these pictures right here? Nope. Let's check the journal. So, with Mary... What if she and Yale killed Dunn? She went to the park with him, were they lovers? But what about Bobby? Belonged to a street gang two years ago, gunned in the safe, killed Dunn, and threw it in the dumpster. So, it is possible leads we only have at this point. So I wonder, we can do a deduction. I'm just trying to figure out which one it was. Could it be this one and this one? No, that still doesn't come up. Yeah, so there's one deduction in here, and it has to do with this one. But what could it mean? Wait, what? All right. Dunn punched a paint can, but why? Really? Wasn't he calm and composed? He punched the paint can? Dunn punched the can. I suppose, but that has to be a pretty asinine clue. Yeah, that, that is pretty asinine, like, <laughs> he punched the paint can, so it had a dent in it. All right, so what's in here? It's going to be her panties. And let me see. Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to have to, I'm going to cut out also a lot of bullshit from this thing, just in case, like, this game gets a little bit too uh, crazy with the timing. Uh, uh, judging by the general, you're telling me there's the nothing in the bathroom. We're leading a quiet life. Wow, this is awkwardly framed. Uh, nothing in the medicine. You don't want to check the medicine. Wait, what in the hell? What in the hell is going on? Why is he acting like an alcoholic in here? Are you going to say, ugh? Nope. Hmm, maybe there's something I missed. We checked his fridge. Um, can I look at the picture again? <laughs> Man, he looks like she struck out. <laughs> there's a fucking elephant like, oh my god. So, it looks like there's a letter right there. Oh, I can leave now. Alright, um, I'll leave. Let me just do a little once over around this place before we leave. Let's make sure I don't miss anything. Let me check this bathroom one more time. Alright, so. Yeah, all right. So there's nothing in the bathroom except for that fucking card and that asinine comment he made. So let's check his bedroom. Why does he do that every time he leaves the bathroom? He just looks through the window. All right. Nice look at his dad. All right. Wow, that was another asinine comment. So... You like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? All right, it looks like we can't even look at that. And let's just look at this painting real quick. This awkward is all hell weird painting. Like, there's nothing secret about it. 
Alright, I guess we can leave out. Uh, seemingly... Nothing else is here. Lee, Void O'Leary, or stay. Yeah, let's leave. When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. Alright, so now we're going to Mary's house. Finally. But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. Her scarf. Ooh. O'Leary, an ally. I don't care. He looks like a fuck to me. I'm pretty sure he's going to turn on me the first chance he gets. But let's see what Mary has to say for herself. Ah, I've never trusted angels. What? What the fuck is Bobby here? Or was she just randomly standing? I've never standing? trusted angels. Mr. What? Fat what a... Surprise? Ew. Did y'all see that, like, how the subtitle popped up before any? They turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. Mm -hmm. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. How did you open the door to his apartment? How did you open the door to his apartment? I think it was already open. You think? Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blacksad. Don't be. I'm here to figure it all out. Yeah, we're gonna fuck you over. They say, what's your relationship with him, what's huh? What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay, I think it's time to set things straight. Yeah. Were you cheating on Dunn with Yale? Y yes. Push I it. Were you cheating push on Dunn with push Yale? It. Or was it the other way around? No. How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on the roller coaster. Yes, you whore. Explain yourself, whore. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Blackside. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, <laughs> I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Segregated schools? Segregated schools and a worse education for colored children. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that... That damn nonsense. That damn nonsense. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great- <laughs> I have to say, that came completely out of left field for me. Like, she said, you know, you know I'm not white, Mr. Black said. And he was like, me and, me and Black said had the same exact response. Like, what? <laughs> Again, that came completely out of left field. What the fuck, game? Grandparents were. You're not the only one. I'm black too, and I don't hide it. Well, at least you're a man. In any case, what's that have to do with Bobby Yale? He's my nephew, Mr. Blackside. Oh. Joe and I first started taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. Oh, so it has connection the to this. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. Bobby Yell's your nephew? So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. I'm sorry, let's try to get brownie points I'm with her. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry. I understand. You apologize. All right. Wow. Uh, wow. The plot actually got a lot more interesting um, from this. Holy shit. Uh, can we look around real quick? Um, pick up some new info. Uh, radio. What's on this radio? TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? Oh, God, I don't know, Black said. 
That's the most controversial thing you can think of right now. It's a fucking TV radio combo. Can we look at her? Wait, wait, wait something. Oh, what's that? Femininity starts as a home. Belinda Lovelace. Okay. Interesting. Mary smells like, actually the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. She smells like pie? So I can't identify any other fragrances. So I wonder, did she just make pie? And if so, can we ask for some pie? <laughs> In a non-sexual manner, of course. <laughs> All right, what else is there? All right, we already looked at that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no, that's gonna zoom in on this again, isn't it? Oh, wait, what's that? Fresh out of the oven. Oh, yeah, the pie! The whole room smells like pie. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> that cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven wait, right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Someone's here. What the fuck? The pie. Wait, why did it do that camera angle like someone was Let looking me go at get us? get a knife from the kitchen. Yeah. Black said, she's acting suspicious. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee. Um. Water. Water. Just in case, if she puts anything in it, we'll see it. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. All right, but wait. The room. The room. What's happening? What is this? What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> you got some beautiful artwork. <laughs> That's some beautiful artwork you got there. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Again, an awkward fucking silence. You got some beautiful artwork. Why was she baking pie? And why am I eating said pie in such quantity? It was a small pie. He's eating most of it. Before I say another asinine comment. <laughs> I, I'm figuring you guys will know what I'm going to say. Uh, I kind of want to just deduce a little bit more, but at the same time, it's so, it's like tempting just to say that. All right, what's, what's going on? Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. So maybe we could pick up something else. Yeah, so, oh, that actually that's good. Since we ate the pie, we may be able to smell something. Wait, wait, I, I see something over there. Wait. That's the game glitching out. Never mind. <laughs> you guys, the, it, <laughs> the fireplace disappeared. Wait, I could. Wait, is this going to be the same thing still? Now that there's almost no pie left. Yeah, it's the same thing. The scent has also disappeared. So we have to look around the room. Like, follow our nose. Wait. Wait. On her. Oh, yes, on her neck. What's this? Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Whore! She's hiding him. Stop lying. I know your nephew is here. Come on. I can smell him. What? No. He's I here. I, I knew someone was in here. I understand your motives. Let's, Look, let's try to reason with her. I understand why you're protecting him, but it's in his best interest to end this hide and seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. 
He's not here. Wait, can we can we look at her? Oh yeah. Shh. Again. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. Okay. What else? Black side, what is what else is there? It's the the sofa. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. That's why she's sitting right there. So that's where you were exactly all oh, piecing this shit together. I don't know what you're talking about? Yes, you do. Yeah. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Please go. <laughs> Bitch, you better put that knife down before I kill your ass. Knife down, would you? Leave or off. <laughs> Let's see. I just want to help, Mary. I came here to help. I mean uh, it. I don't want to hurt you. Oh shit! Bobby. Oh fuck! This is a boxer. He's actually gonna hurt. Out! Fuck! Uh, nope. Is it? Okay. Wait. What am I supposed to look for? Oh fuck! Ow! God damn it! Okay, I, I saw what I was supposed to look for. Okay. Okay, I was supposed to look at the damn trade. The game wasn't really. <laughs> Why would you punch the fucking ball? <laughs> Run! Oh yeah, look at that matrix ball. Damn. Like I said, get up. No, 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 no. no. I'm on your side! I'm on your side, Bobby. But I'm not on yours! Oh, you fucker. Mm. 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 Oh, fuck. Uh. What? What the hell? Did I kill him with the force? Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. What the fuck just happened? In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. His heart. Yeah. One, stay calm. Two, one oh chest compression per second. One, Mississippi. <laughs> two, Mississippi. Come on. Three, Mississippi. We're gonna break you back, boy. Three, Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Oh, we revived him! Oh my God! Oh, Bobby. Oh God! Thank you, Bobby. Oh, we got some brownie points. Oh yeah, black sand. It's fucked up again. Bobby. Thank you. I could have let him die. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I could have let him die, Mary. <laughs> Just so you know. I have investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with Whoa. a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. Fuck with that. And I had saved a life. Yeah! Did pretty well for ourselves. <laughs> Everyone loves wearing the same trench coat as me. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. But what could it be? Terribly wrong. Oh, wait. Oh. Well. Holy shit, this episode has been eventful. Apart from being, like, we finally got out that fucking boxing ring and now shit actually happened. Promise me, Promise you me. won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think I'd we're like not just vigilantes. I didn't take anything in my own hands. What the hell? <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I 
fair amount of distortion <laughs> and casualty casual. <laughs> What the hell? I hate detectives. Bang, bang, bang! Your dead meat cat. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> Had a lot of those. Yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. I trust it. Let's just see. Thanks. I think I need I at least trust He's like the only yep, character besides Weekly I trust. As for what happened yesterday, I asked you not to get involved. Or at least give me a heads up. Can I mention O'Leary? Let's see. I had to. Let's see. Bobby Yale attacked me. I had to do something. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided his assault. <laughs> I couldn't have warned you, ass fuck. I anyway, like was taken done away. Is done. Hey. Oh, you need a light. <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> when, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? I don't think he did it. It doesn't make any sense. Awkward silence time because you're smoking. Out of sheer curiosity. I'm a cop after all. I'm not sure yet. To be honest, I'm not so sure. Yeah, it doesn't him. make any sense. How about the motive? Any ideas? Yo's dead, disappeared. Don't want to call his fight off. I'm not sure. I've got several theories, but that's yeah. about it. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell I, us more. I don't think Bobby actually did it. It's like, you know, start a piece together. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? It's because with or without my permission. Mary is his so aunt. I'd rather not feel betrayed. And she and was marrying Bobby, and Bobby got him attack. out the gang. I don't see why he would kill him. really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. Be nice to her. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. I try to protect her. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. <laughs> yeah, let's just take a nap. I will. Thanks I got the shit advice. kicked out of me. Or I should say kick. Tell the nurses beat. to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. Yeah, because I'm a legend. For your sake. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> you're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six <laughs> hours. Understood? <laughs> Doctor. Uh Jesus. Skit. You are. Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, let's see. I always fare well. Well, I always land on my feet. What is this fuck, no? He looks like a pervert. See? We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. Okay. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust. That it's natural and well-founded. Yeah, seeing as how he came with that asinine question, I'm pretty sure he's an asshole. What's this? Is that his name? Dr. Palmer. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh, yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Why are you sounding so disingenuous? Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. What's his current condition, doctor? What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack, after all. 
Okay, so he did have a heart attack. That's going to probably screw up his chances for a fight. Suggest that Rail, yes, after his heart attack. That would make sense. Go away. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. This is I rarely get to ago. interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Alright, I'm going to actually pause it right here, uh, end this segment off, but when we return, we shall get back to, like, interrogating uh, fucking Bobby, try to pick up some more clues, but yeah, interesting episodes uh, so far. We learned a lot of new information, and I'm, you know, very excited to see where that leads us, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more, and when we return, we are going to, you know interrogate Bobby Yale to hit that bell for notifications to keep up with any new uploads and I will see you guys next time this is Solo Supreme and have a great day folks now this one is pure niceness